Hi, I'm Nora, and I'm going to walk you through my web quest entitled Supernatural Beings Across Cultures. This is the introduction page. It just quickly talks about how they're supernatural beings in every culture and that they provide an understanding of the culture in which they are told. Let's move on to the task page. The task page gives a quick um, summary of what the students are expected to do. They're going to be working in teams of three. They're going to be creating a short documentary. The process page breaks it down further, more in detail. I broke it down into two columns, roles and timeline. When I was designing the roles, I uh, kept in mind that there's students that are introverts and students that are extroverts. I did a the, sen the first sentence for each role describes what type of person this role would be good for. Um, and at the bottom, I ha highlighted the sentence because this is what they're going to be evaluated on. So I highlighted it so they know if it, it's, it's of importance. The timeline, I did week one and broke it down to what each person each role is going to be doing that week same thing for week two and in week three they come together and collaborate I highlighted the key points because these are the three points that they're going to be addressing in their documentary they're going to be evaluated on that so I highlighted highlighted it so they know it's of importance the list and links page I did provide them with a very short list these are the supernatural beings that I grew up with being of Mexican descent but down here I have a link to a page which will give them mythical beasts from South America and this page is really neat because you could click on any one of these and then It'll give you a description of what they are. The students could choose one of these. That's an option. They could choose one of the five that I put up there. Or if they are familiar with anyone, any supernatural being in, of their own, they could, they could certainly use that as well. The evaluation page is just the rubric. Um, here I, at the top duration of the presentation, this is where it has to be between five and ten minutes and the key points question I also put that in there they addressed all three of the key points the conclusion page at the end of this project my goal is for the students to acquire the knowledge that everyone is the same it doesn't matter what culture you come from everyone has fear and fear is universal so some open-ended questions I put for the students to uh, ask themselves to take away from you know why is fear universal how do certain supernatural beings cross cultural gaps um, what do personified fears or supernatural beings mean about us as people it's just as people in general and the culture we are brought up in a quick example, in Mexican culture, we have the duendes, which the equivalent to that in American culture is a gnome. Now, in American culture, gnomes are cute. They're garden gnomes. But in Mexican culture, they're, they're evil. They're scary. They torment little kids. So what does that mean to that culture? These are just the photo credits and then the teacher page. I highlighted the world language content standards for California here and highlighted my email there's a picture of doing this again and that is my web quest